Hello everyone, Mac Vaughn here with Sonic Academy. Today I'm going to be doing a series of tech tips and the first one I'm going to be doing is based on some generative music making. And generative music making is basically uh, randomization, random patterns uh, based on certain criteria. And the one I'm going to be focused on today is this little uh, box down here called Sting 64. And um, you can download Sting 64 here on maxforlive.com. You just uh, quick search will get you to the right place. If you just type in uh, Skinner Box or Sting, um, it's been re-uploaded as of yesterday. I actually reached out to them and told them that it wasn't up here anymore. It's been put back up, uh, which is good because this is an awesome music making device. So we're pop, pop back over to um, Ableton here and I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, basically what this does is it spits out random patterns um, and it's really cool. I use it for bass lines, uh, synth lines, lead lines, whatever, but it's uh, really nice uh, as I said before, uh, or maybe I didn't say before, uh, but if you're stuck in a um, um, creative block, um, this thing can really generate some ideas for you. Um, so before I recorded this video, I had hit play. And to my surprise, it had already generated a very cool pattern, so I recorded it. Um, and I've got some drums that I've already imported into the project, but uh, let's get this set up first. So the first thing, um, I just I have it set as source, because this is the source of our sound, and then I've got target. Uh, and for the target, I've got uh, uh, Sonic Academy's Anna here. I've loaded up a, a, a bass preset that I like. Um, I've also got a MIDI pitch uh, plugin here. Um, as sometimes the notes that come uh, from Sting can be either too low or too high. So I just have a, a MIDI pitch um, uh, F plug in here to uh, control the um, octave uh, that I want uh, the um, sound to, uh, to, to be resonating in. So uh, Sting, the way Sting works is um, by basically you hitting the smiley face, it changes the pattern. Uh, the density is how many notes are in the pattern. If I go to the left, uh, it won't have as many notes as if I turn the dial to the right. I'll get uh, more notes, as you'll see here in a minute. Uh, and then you've got transpose, so you can transpose the pattern uh, up or down. Uh, you've got length, and it goes all the way to 64, all the way down to zero. So I usually generally leave it around 16. You can add some swing, and then you've got uh, a velocity um, control here. So um, I recorded this pattern already here uh, but I'm going to be showing you some other uh, patterns that, it, that it, it's, it's uh, capable of uh, and one of the other things uh, I should also mention is that we need to set up our um, um, our MIDI 2 uh, needs to be pointed to the target so you'll come here MIDI 2 and I'm going to choose target and um, you're good to go. And then I've got the arm on, obviously, um, or you can do monitor in. And that'll pick up the notes that um, Sting is uh, kicking out. So let's play around with the smiley face and uh, get an idea of uh, what kind of patterns we can expect from this thing. Let's add some drums behind that and see how that sounds. So you can see just, you know, uh, just a couple clicks of a button, I'm getting some, you know, decent uh, bass lines or, you know, lead lines, whatever you want to do here. Let's turn the density up a little bit and click the button. And, you know, sometimes it kicks out stuff that's, you know, borderline cheesy, but... But, uh, you know, you can always edit these patterns. So let's say I wanted to record that pattern now. I'm going to basically arm my track.
and there would be the pattern. Obviously, uh, that is not the great of a pattern. I'm not really feeling it, but you get the the general idea. Um, but I do like this pattern that you know first uh, came out of it when I before I started the uh, project. Oh, we got to turn this off. Um, so I'm going to stick with that. So that's that. And uh, have another listen. Okay. And there you have it. Uh, that was the first tech tip in my series uh, here. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And um, I look forward to making uh, more of these and look forward to you watching them. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you found this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.